These titanium straws are maybe the best thing we've ever purchased. Plus, they're so good for the environment. Look. I just saved a sea turtle. I can't believe I've had this for an entire year and didn't lose it. I've literally used it every day. And you never have to wash them. It's great. You do need to wash them. You do? Yeah. Mm. Oh. Just realized how gross it was? No, my tooth hurts. Every time something cold hits it. Also, every time something warm hits it. Also, when I'm sleeping and when I'm awake. Oh my god, go to the dentist. Oh, I can't. I mean, I need to use my Tasket insurance, but I don't have enough points. Well, every time you do a job, you earn points. And then you get to exchange it for a prize, like a dentist appointment. How many points for a dentist appointment? More than a panini press, but less than a jet ski. I just keep forgetting to log them in, and if you don't do it every Friday, then the points disappear. Just put a reminder in your phone. That's a good idea. You know, I feel like I tried to do that once, and then I somehow got distracted. Oh my god, there's a new panda filter! Look, you can panda yourself! <laughs> you distracted? I can't imagine. Liza, it's Friday. Put in your task at points. Now, every Friday, that'll pop up and remind you. Did you... Use the panda filter? Yes, honey. Thank you. You're the best. I feel like I never do anything to help you the way you help me. Actually, I do need a favor. Come with me. Oh, please don't be paperwork. Or math. It's my company's yearly real estate conference. It's actually a really important part of my job evaluation, so I need feedback. Every person's given a topic and... And your topic was houses? No. In the city? City houses? No. Posters? No! The poster is just so that I could have something a little more intimate than just a PowerPoint. I'm discussing a very personal and sensitive subject, gentrification. A neighborhood is only as good as its neighbors. And while money is important, good values equal good, long-lasting relationships with us as a company. OK, I also wrote a jingle. <laughs> New neighbor, same hood. Right? It's good. No, it can't just be good. I need to really make a splash. I mean, people go all out for these things. I mean, Beverly Hills Bonnie, she does impressions of everyone in the office, and she kills it. Studio City Randy, he's a magician. Oh, no. Keep him away from Harlow. OK, you date five magicians, and suddenly you're a serial magician dater. Anyway, this year he's supposed to talk about prime interest rates, but last year he sawed a woman in half. How am I supposed to top that? Yeah, I don't think a poster's gonna beat out a magician. Definitely not. Well, thanks anyways. No, no, no. I said I was going to help, so I'm gonna help. Hold on. <clears throat> Sing that jingle again. New neighbor, same hood. I got it. We're gonna do a musical. <gasps> Gentrification the musical. A musical? About gentrification? I don't think that's the best idea. Eh, that's what they said about dancing cats, and that made over $400 billion. Did it? I love a musical. Yeah. I played Tammy Taylor in my high school production of Friday Night Lights, and I killed it. I still live my life by the slogan, WWTTD. What would Tammy Taylor do? Mm. Liza's right. You should do a musical. Good job, Liza. Thank you. I don't know. No, don't you let doubt win. All right, we got this. After work, I'm gonna figure out this whole musical thing. I really like my poster. And we're gonna kick that magician's ass. I put glitter on it. Mm, clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Hi, I'm Liza with Tasket. Are you Katie? Yeah, come on in. Wow, I love your house. Your mom has such great taste. Oh, no, this is my house. I bought it a few months. Oh, my God, Liza. Liza! It's me, Katie. I knew I recognized you. We did Tasket training together. We did? Yeah. I mean, there were a lot of people there, but I totally remember you. You were so cute, and you had this titanium straw, and you were talking all about it. Oh, yeah, that's right after I got it. I I'm sorry, I'm so terrible with faces. No big. I totally remember you. Well, it's nice to see you again. It's such a small world. Are you still on Tasket? Oh, God, no. <laughs> I'm an entrepreneur now. Let's head back to my closet. That's where the job is. Okay. You know, I spent a few weeks doing task it, but I was like, no, not for me. Boring. <laughs> I'm much more of a go-getter, you know? No offense. Oh. I mean, oh. entrepreneurship isn't for everyone. So here we are, one year later. Sorry, it is such a mess. I get so much free stuff, and I literally have no time to go through it. I told my agent to tell people to stop sending me things, but she's so busy fielding offers for speaking engagements. You have an agent? Oh, yeah, sure. I did a TED Talk last month. Had to fly to Vancouver, it was a whole thing. Ugh, international travel, right? Right. 
Anyway, if you're gonna organize my closet, I wanna weed out anything that doesn't scream boss, you know? Like, oh, like these jeans. I mean, I was gonna put stuff on consignment, but I think we'll just donate. $500 for a pair of jeans? Better come with a bag of diamonds and a makeout session with Sean Mendes. I know, right? I got those from Zendaya and we're trying to do a thing together. Oh my God, don't tell her I'm donating her jeans. <laughs> what else are you up to? I mean, you can't just be doing this. No, no, not just doing this. I'm doing a lot of things. Uh, mainly producing a musical. No way, that sounds interesting. Oh, it is interesting. I wish I could talk more about it, but you know, Privacy. <laughs> You're actually really lucky you got me here. This might be one of my last task of jobs ever. I really gotta devote myself to the show full time. You know. Yeah, I do. Um, I'm just gonna let you get to it. I gotta jump on a call with my friend Cardi. We're working on a project together. Cardi B? No. <laughs> Hola, nena. Si. <laughs> oh, cr Mm, suck it, $500 jeans. How did you write this so quickly? Mm, I was inspired. I'm a go-getter. Okay, so who am I playing? You're playing Eduardo, my ailing father. Ooh, Eduardo. Okay, got it. Uh, you know what? I feel like uh, maybe he would have a beard. Oh, um, maybe don't. I've already decided that my character has hair extensions, and I think that's a lot of hair on stage. <laughs> I mean, this isn't hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's gentrification. The musical. Mm. It's upside down. Geez, Liza, I feel like maybe it's a little long. Oh, it's just a first draft. It's easier to trim than to fill in. Trust me, we're gonna blow everyone in your office out of the water. I don't see my poster in here anywhere. No, oh, we'll work it in. All right, everyone, let's read it through. Keep it casual. Bruce, you ready? Also, a keyboard player seems like a bit much. Uh, I'm the musical director. Oh, it's going to be great. Screw that magician and her TED Talk. We'll show her who's on the come up. Randy the magician is a man, and I don't think he's ever done a TED Talk. Liza, what's going on? Nothing. I'm putting on a show. Great show. Mm -hmm. I mean, a power ballad about my dying father. I get to cry. This is gold, Liza. Gold. No, no, no. I get to die? Look, I saw a vice, OK? I can do three different kinds of heart attacks. I can give you the ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, or the <clears throat> right there, or the uh, Oh, my head. Oh. Yes, yes, and yes. All right. Come on, everybody, get together. All right, coming soon. Hashtag rehearsal, hashtag set life. Oh, three likes. No Katie yet, but she'll see it. the same thing. Okay, I have to ask, why is uh, Eduardo not dancing? You can't dance. You're dying. You're coughing up blood. You, yeah, but it could be in his head. You know, it could be a dream sequence. <coughs> <coughs> you know, I'm sorry, your direction is very literal. Well, I'm sorry, but that had to be said. I was liking the conflict between us. I think that was going well. Yeah, yeah, right? Like, it's really getting going, and then... 
He just comes in and fixes it. Well, that's the whole point, right? I'm the realtor selling gentrification and how it can be a good thing if handled delicately. Right, right, of course. It's just, it's all happening really fast, you know? Too fast. Mm -hmm. What if we save new neighbors, same hood for the second act? Really build up for your entrance, huh? That would be more satisfying. Mm -hmm. uh, my boss said I have to keep these presentations to around six minutes. Oh, great. We'll just put a pin in new neighbors, same hood then, huh? For now. See? It's already getting shorter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, for the scene where people are picketing the juice place, I was thinking maybe a rock number? Maybe an E? Yes, yes. Something like this? It's perfect. There's a million things I haven't done. Just you wait, just you wait. Hashtag inspiration, hashtag process, at Katie Ashton. Who's Katie Ashton? Who? You tagged her. I don't know. Is that for your tooth? What is this, a police interrogation? Everybody up! Is this nap time at a daycare or is this rehearsal for a hit Broadway musical? <sighs> okay, so in this scene, I bring the suspicious family one of my cold pressed juices and Eduardo drinks it and is miraculously cured. Give this to your father, a gift to you from me. Also, here's a punch card. Your ten juice is free. Why are you being oh so kind? Have I been wrong? Have I been blind? And this is where I sing New Neighbor, Same Hood. Yes. We oh, can! I really thought you two were going to fall in love. What? Well, when you bring her the juice, then you guys looked at each other. And... Okay, well, that's just where I thought it was going. Sorry. It's same sex romance. It's interesting. Not any more interesting than a hetero romance. I kind of like it. But we have to hide it from my father, who's old fashioned and wouldn't understand. Mm -hmm. well, look, my character wouldn't, but I personally completely approve. And uh, I think people would enjoy watching this play out. And not just me. All right, well, Bruce, romance cue. What does this have to do with gentrification? What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> because uh, this is uh, about people getting along, so this is important thematically. Exactly. It's another layer, Oliver. I mean, without a romance, it would just be a show about real estate. <laughs> exactly. Christ on a bike, let him do it. Oh my God, it looks so great in here. So I've been seeing the post about your show. Looks really exciting. Oh, have you? Well, you know, it's just going great. <laughs> Opening night is right around the corner. Oh, I know, I'm going. To what? To your show. I mean, I gotta support my old training buddy. I tried to find the theater that you were in, but I only saw that you were in a hotel ballroom, which is very avant-garde. Well, you know, anyone can put on a play in a theater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, and a favor. Can you save me another seat? I'm hoping my friend will come with. Jessica Alba. You know Jessica Alba? <laughs> okay, okay, you have to promise not to say anything. We're closing a deal together. She's buying my lifestyle brand for 20 million. Dollars? Well, she's not paying me in titanium drinking straws. <laughs> 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 no, but seriously, keep it on the hush. We're not announcing until next week. My lips are sealed. <laughs> oh. Did you just hurt yourself with an imaginary key? No. Um, I, my, my tooth hurts, but you know, the show, show must go on. Show that I'm going to. Oh, you really don't have to. I wouldn't miss it. Okay. Oh, sorry, it's Taylor Swift. Yeah, I saw the video. <laughs> Forbidden passion is driving us mad. Quiet, we don't want to wake my dad. Mm, you're off. You keep doing forbidden passion. It's forbidden. But then, you hear that? I guess. I mean, does it really make a difference? Yes, it makes a difference. There's going to be a lot of people in that audience, including possibly a certain actress slash entrepreneur who I cannot talk about. So please, do it again as I wrote it. Again. Oh, hell. Look who decided to show up. You do know rehearsal was at four. Too important to rehearse, Mariah? Liza, I'm coming home from my job, working for the real estate company that this is supposed to be for. Excuses are like armpits, Oliver. Everybody has them, and I haven't shaved mine in weeks. Come on, everybody up. Rehearsal. All right, there's new additions in the script. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. All right, let's make sure I don't 
There's nudity in this now? Everyone knows you've got to do nudity in order to be taken seriously as an artist, especially in the theater. Did Don tell you that? Who am I to stand in the way of their artistic vision? Are you against art, Oliver? No, but I think that a lesbian love scene at a real estate convention is a bit inappropriate. Guys, take five. Oliver, can I please speak to you backstage? Where is backstage? Being late is one thing, but I cannot have you undermining me in front of my cast and crew. You mean Harlow and Don the landlord? Bruce is here too, and I am paying him a lot to be my rehearsal pianist. Musical director. I know what this is really about. You're just jealous that Harlow and I have bigger parts than you do. Okay, I think I should just go back to my first idea. I can just use my poster and sing my jingle and be done with this. No, no, Oliver. There are already important people coming. Also, I got them to put the show in the lineup. Look, Gentrification the Musical is on the schedule. Oh my God. Okay, Liza, this has gotten way out of control. I don't think I can do this. No, Oliver. I don't think you can. Wait, what? Enough is enough. All right, it's time to move on. You're fired. From my own presentation. How am I supposed to explain that? Creative differences. Happens all the time. Look, we're on the schedule, Oliver. This show goes on with you or without you. You can still keep your producer credit. So now we're just giving out producer credit? Shut up, Bruce. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Okay, what is this? Uh, the end of the line is back there. You auditioning for the role of Oliver, too? Auditioning? I am Oliver. Oh, that's good. Gotta fully commit right away. I'm gonna try that. I am Oliver. I am Oliver. I am Oliver. All right, next. Excuse me, can I get through? I'm trying to get to my bedroom. This is my apartment. This is my apartment? This is my apartment. Mm -mm. This is my apartment. All right, well, show us what you got. My specialty is stage combat. Good night! Do you have any previous theater experience? I'm, I'm Marissa Jarrett Winokur. I originated the role of Tracy Turnblad in the hit Broadway musical Hairspray. Oh, is that a big part? It was the lead. Wow, the attitude on this one, huh? <laughs> Next! <laughs> Next! I won the Tony Award. Who's Tony? Next! 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 New neighbors, same hood. Okay, what's your deal? I'm James Dixon Rogers. I was cast in the role of Oliver. The show's this weekend, so I want to make sure I did as much research as possible. Could you tell me about a traumatic childhood experience that I can draw from? I, I don't have the... Mm. Will you please leave me alone? I'm trying to make guacamole. I am so sorry. Uh, I did not mean to intrude. Crave solitude. Loves guacamole. Bit of a temper. It's showtime, folks. Hashtag showtime, folks. So remember, the U.S. prime rate equals the Fed funds target rate plus three. That was my card. Oh, and here's your watch, because we all need to watch for rate changes. Wow, the great Randy Ening is actually pretty good. And also kind of bad. Harlow, please stay focused. I saw a kitten eating chicken in the kitchen. Mini mumbling mice. I saw... Okay, uh, we're up soon. Everybody feeling ready? Well, I just threw up in the potted plant. I haven't been this nervous since I was arrested for building code violations. Okay, 
Um, we'll definitely be discussing that later. Uh, everybody, right now, last looks. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, hi. Hi. Hmm, got your poster. They gave me another slot on the schedule. Well, good luck. Good luck to you, too. Actually, in the theater, you want to say break a leg. Good luck means bad luck. Oh, I'm aware. <clears throat> okay, everybody, shake it out. Huddle up for one last post. All right, here we go. Hashtag opening night. Liza, it's Friday. Put in your task at points. Oh, crap. Uh, gentrification the musical, you're up next. Oh, boy. <sighs> uh. Hey, all. I really messed up. I forgot to log in my task at points again. <laughs> And then the reminder you made for me popped up. And it didn't just remind me of my points, it reminded me of how good of a friend you are. That's how this all started. I just wanted to be a good friend to you too. Then I made it about myself and started trying to prove to someone that I'm a success, someone that I barely even know. So I'm done stealing the spotlight that belongs on you. You should go out there and perform your song. Thank you for saying that. But I was always going to perform my song. Watch for the key change at the end of the song. It's a full step. Well, since we're not going on anymore, I'm just gonna go out and get coffee with the great Randini. Coffee? Is that why you have his hotel room key? He has an espresso in his hotel room. Hmm. Randini, number six. Sorry, guys. Looks like we closed before we even opened. This was the most exciting week of my life. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Also, you guys ruined the floors with all the dancing, so I'll be keeping your security deposit. <laughs> cool. Well, I have to say, this wasn't the worst production I've ever been in. <laughs> I also did that play where Harry Potter got naked, <laughs> and you can't unsee that. Think of me for the next one. <clears throat> Hashtag proud of my friend. Hashtag a true success. New neighbor same. <laughs> Katie Ashton, you're under arrest. Oh, no, get your hands off of me. me. Is somebody videotaping this? Post it. Tag me. Katie Ashton. Whoa, whoa, Katie, what's going on? Please step back, ma'am. Why are you arresting her? Multiple <laughs> counts of fraud. Fraud? She misled investors with false information. Fake accounts, fake followers, fake sponsored posts. Let this be a lesson. <sighs> this is what happens when you mess with Jessica Alba. Wait, but Katie, I don't understand. Why? Why? Because of you, Liza. From that very first day with your fancy titanium straw, parading it around like you were Meghan Markle. Made me feel like such a loser with my lame plastic straw. But I promised myself that one day I would show you that I was better than you. And I almost got away with it. No, you really didn't. Come on. Wow. Huh. Fake post, trying to make herself seem more interesting than she really was. Who would be desperate enough to do something like that? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Ooh, guess where Harlow is right now? Getting sawed in half, I'd imagine. <laughs> <sighs> How was the dentist? Mm, it was great. Only took four hours. Oh, but get this. I told the dentist about our musical, and he wants to invest. Liza. No, he's invested in a lot of great shows. The Book of Mormon and Legally Blonde. And he wants to give us $300,000. Are you serious? Yeah. And Jennifer Lopez, who was also working on my teeth, said that she wanted to star in it. Liza, how much pain medication did they give you? All of it. All right, let's get no. you to bed. <laughs> oh, why are there elves in here? Is it Christmas already? There are no elves. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. Big one. You'd think these people would be grateful. My <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Get 
Okay. All right. I need your help, Oliver. I need your help. Okay. okay. <laughs> I will break your <laughs> fingers, bro. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> On the next lies on demand. Honey, wake up. How long was I out? Two years. What? Sorry, I've always wanted to do that. <gasps> oh, I'm not a house guest. I live here now. No more than three tenants at a time. So I'm one. Then I pay the most rent. And my name's on the list, too. And three. Where am I supposed to live? <laughs>